guys welcome to today's edition of my vlog so today i'll be taking my baby baby sky for um his 10 his eight weeks vaccination so um he's almost 10 weeks old now but we are yet to still do his eight weeks vaccination the reason why we are currently going at this time is because we were not aware of the fact that we were supposed to book an appointment so we thought the gp was going to send us his appointments letter and tell us when we were going to come so by the time i waited and we didn't get any letter from them i had to call them initially i called at six weeks and they told me that they were going to get back to me so i just thought okay because of that let me just relax so almost 10 weeks they didn't i didn't get i didn't hear from them so i decided to call them and they said they were going to be, book an appointment for me to come so today is the day we are going to go and vaccinate him for his eight weeks um we are going to go and vaccinate him so right now i'm about to get him ready even though it's going to be a little bit heartbreaking you know seeing your child wail or cry so much they are going to give him three injections at, and it's going to be on his thighs so on his thighs so guys I, I don't know how i'm going to take this because i'm actually going alone with him to the gp so we will just trek to the place and we're going to get him vaccinated so they asked us to come with no they didn't ask me actually but i read online and they said that um when coming you should come with kapol and kapol is more like children's paracetamol because they are going to develop fever in some cases they get to vomit and all it's it's going to be really heartbreaking like i said so guys let me get him ready i'm already ready now our appointment is by 2.50 and right now it's about 5 minutes past 2. Come with me guys. Oh. Hi Wood. Hi Wood. Okay, so today, like I earlier told you, we are going for your 8 weeks vaccination, right? Right? <laughs> it's going to be painful, but I know you're a strong boy. So, we will do it together, okay? Okay, then can I take it? Hi, Woo. Hi, Woo. Say hi to the camera. Aha. Uh -huh. So guys, I believe in talking to babies and I know that they listen. So for me, every time I'm going to do something or every time I know that I'm going to get my child involved in something, I always try as much as possible to talk to him. So I already discussed with him that we'll be going for his 8 weeks vaccination and um, I know that he has agreed with me because when I spoke to him, he said, mm. so I obviously knew that he has agreed with me so he's wearing ralph lauren top and um, river island shirt and then it comes with a shoe so that's what he's going to be wearing today then he's going to wear his my favorite all-time baby gap cardigan or sweater or warmer whatever thing it is called i love him wearing this so much because every time he wears it he's always looking like a teddy and people want to carry him because of that so guys right now i'm done getting him ready i know that after the injection he's going to cry a lot so after the injection i'm just going to try as much as possible to make him calm by giving him probably breast milk so that it will suit him so guys let's keep going let's make sure that we get there on time he's really hungry and that's why you can hear him making all the loud noise he is when he's hungry like this <laughs> he feels like tearing everybody apart even though he cannot express himself but i already know saying hi and he's saying that you guys should not forget to comment like subscribe share and hit the notification bell right baby sky so 
I'm ready right now. We're about to take our leave. This is about um, 2.35 and uh, if we don't take care, we'll be late. So I'm just going to pack the stuff I need right now just in case of any emergency. So I have um, like a towel with me. I have a cover cloth. Then I have my keys and with the capole. So this is what the capole looks like. Yeah, so I'm just going to give it to him immediately to give him the injection. I'm supposed to be giving him this every four, four hours. I don't want wahala. Mm -hmm. I have something I'm going to tomorrow. So I need him to be okay. Then the most important thing, guys, without this book, nothing is happening. It's called the Red Book. In the UK here, if you don't, if you misplace this book, I don't even know. See, eh, this book like this is like book of life. So, he cannot be vaccinated if he doesn't have this book. Down to when he starts school, he needs this book. Everything he's doing is this book. This is more like a documentation of his life. So, I cannot afford to starts coming back or running and be or begging nurse or doctor that please oh i forgot book so let me just gently put it now before my i will hear sorry we cannot attend to you let's give you another appointment i beg i cannot be coming for another appointment that's already taking too long mm -hmm. so let me let me just strap him now on his um, on his body and then we'll take our leave Alright guys, so we are about to leave right now. See you people when we come back, okay? <laughs> By the way, it's hard I look. I wish I could show you guys what I'm wearing, but let me see if I can. That's what I'm wearing. Some people must have seen this outfit in the video of what my husband bought for me. So if you've not watched that video, I don't even know what you're doing. Better start going now to go and watch that video because people that have watched it, they enjoyed it. You that have not watched it, you'll not even know the outfit because the camera is not even showing everything I'm wearing. So you better go there and I'm going to watch it so that you see what the outfit looks like. Eh? Okay. Well, oh, well, I'll see you guys outside or when we get there bye So guys, we already did there. This is our primary health health center. So let's keep going. Sorry. Thank you. So I read and um, they said for most cases, some um, babies vomit as it's a the result. The rotavirus. Okay. That's why that that prevent diarrhea and vomiting. Oh, okay. Yeah. So the side effect will be the same thing. 
but we haven't had any issue of diarrhea and vomiting. Okay. So when do I expect him to get better after the injection? Oh no, before it's about 24 hours. When my granddaughter had it, she was miserable for the night. Fever continued. The next day she was a bit and then that's it. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you're yeah, a nana. Time. You look too good for a nana. I know. <laughs> look at her on the table there. What did you eat? He just ate milk before coming. Gosh. <laughs> I'm sorry, forgive me, okay? If I wake you up, you are not going to wake up, isn't it? You're going to scream. <laughs> you're forgiving me, isn't it? Yeah, you're forgiving me. Yes. Well oh my done. God. Would you like a sticker? I didn't I forgot to give you a sticker. Would you like a dinosaur? Yes. yes. Oh, you can have a dinosaur. It looks like you can hear what I'm saying. Yes, it yes. does listen. Would you like a dinosaur? <laughs> yeah. I will stick it to the end. Mommy can stick it on your book, okay? <laughs> to show everybody that you've been very brave today. Yeah. Okay? Yes. Well done. Nice to meet you. <laughs> and we have to protect you. We don't want you to be sick, okay? Yes. Yes. I'm forgiving. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. And God bless you. Okay? Yes. Say bye bye, mommy. <laughs> Thank you, mom. All right, then take care. All right. Okay guys, so we are done from his appointment and um, looking at it, he did very well compared to other infants. I'm so proud of him. I'm, I'm sure by the time you watch this video, you're even going to see him laughing. So he did so well and the GP was so impressed and even gave him a sticker. So right now we are heading back home and um, probably just going to give him some breast milk to make him to sleep every four to six hours as she has recommended so come with us home so guys two magnificent thing about where I live one there is a train station just by my house so it's just like five minutes walk and then there is a sea just across so i'll try as much as possible to show you guys what it is like see the train station so it's all the way down there that's the train station so these trains they go everywhere you want so it's a plus for us mm -hmm. so down there that's the sea um it's amazing during summer but times like this during winter it's very annoying because the cold there eh, not before here you yourself you go to freeze but it's an amazing view what do you guys think We just got home and uh, he's still sleeping. Like I said before, you know I told you guys that he likes being rocked. Everybody likes to go out like his mother. So he's sleeping. We saw how he, he, he did so well. He was so brave that um, you guys heard when the GP was saying that um, maybe she should give him a sticker. Yes, they did. she did give him a sticker. And on the sticker it says... <laughs> I don't know that you guys can see. I was brave. That's what he says. So I'm going to stick it on his red book. And um, you probably see it when he grows much, much older. So right now, I'm just going to make him 
lie down and sleep i'm not going to disturb him for at least till when he wakes up from sleep so guys thank you for watching this video do not forget to like share subscribe and comment let me know what you think was he that brave like the gp said and if you're a new mom let me know what what happened when your child was vaccinated yeah so until next time see you guys bye i love you all